today I'll show you how to do a quick architectural shadow study for your site analysis. The fun part is that we'll do everything inside AutoCAD and with the help of some free softwares. Are you ready? All right, we know extrude command doesn't work here with a mesh. So let's do the following. Let's use a line like so, about 48 feet, because this is what we got from Google Earth. So now we're going to use the extrude command, but differently. And this is called the mesh extrude. So let's use it. And now we can select all of the edges of this mesh. We can now press enter to accept these selected faces. And let's click here in the top of the mesh once and finally at the end of the line. Great. So we can remove the line now. And now this building height is really accurate. Using the same procedure, you are going to check and double check that these adjacent buildings have the correct height based on Google Earth. All right, so let's unfreeze the topography layer now because this model is ready. So let's close this drawing for now and Make sure you save your drawing, please. So let's click yes here. And now we can save this drawing in any of these following formats or versions. However, I'm going to save it using the current AutoCAD 2018. But if you're having issues later on, you can save it as, as a older version so I'll click save and now we're going to use another free software that is actually not really 100% free but you can get a free trial to use it for about 30 days so that's pretty good and this software is SketchUp Pro so how to download SketchUp Pro free for 30 days let me show you how. So let's type SketchUp trial and let's select the first link. As you can see, this is the SketchUp official website and let's select the star free trial. Once we do that, we can either use a email that we have or you can sign in with a Google account. So the easiest way is with the Google account. So I'll click on it and I'll select this specific Google account that I'm already logged in. So once I do that, I don't even need to put my password because I was already signed in on this Google account. For the industry, I'll select architecture and here I'll pick 3D modeling, but this actually doesn't really matter. Let's click continue, the company name. This also doesn't really matter, so we can put any company actually. I'll pick one for the size and the country. Yes, this is important, so let's pick in my case the United States and the state would be Pennsylvania because this is where I live. The phone number is not needed so just leave it blank for now and make sure you click agree. Now if you click start my trial looks like nothing happens however your SketchUp Pro is already downloading and all you need to do now is just wait. 
Once it's downloaded, you can click to open this file, this SketchUp file, and click install. Let's wait a couple of seconds, and your SketchUp is ready to go. So now we can click the start button to look for the program. And as you can see, if we type in SketchUp, here it is, SketchUp Pro, in this case 2021. So let's click on it. Uh, make sure you agree and continue. And here it is. This is the welcome message. Click sign in. Make sure this is very important to use the same Google account that you previously used. My, in my case was this one, so I'll click on it, and you are signed in to all things SketchUp. Congratulations. All you have to do now is simply close this tab, and the SketchUp software will be ready to go. Here, you have some preset templates that you can use. So, in my case, I'll use, for instance, architectural inches. And here you are finally in your SketchUp Pro trial. As you can see in the top of the program, you have 31 days left in your trial. So enjoy. If you never used SketchUp, don't worry. You won't have to draw anything here in SketchUp. We're just gonna use it as a tool to kind of set up our shadows accurate using our previous model that we drew in AutoCAD. One of the first things that we're going to do is import our AutoCAD model. So let's click here, file, and then go all the way down to import. As you can see, this is our previously drawn model in AutoCAD. Make sure all supported files is selected so you can see your DWG file and click import. All right. Finally, we got our AutoCAD model here inside SketchUp. So we're gonna zoom and orbit the same way that we as AutoCAD users do inside AutoCAD. By using the middle mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out as well as if you hold it, you can orbit like so. So let's select this and we're gonna see that this comes as a component in this case and basically a component is similar to a block in AutoCAD. So let's select it and right click and pick explode. Okay, so now we don't need this image that we got from Google Earth anymore because this is not actually accurate. You'll see why in a moment. So let's get rid of it by just using the delete command on your keyboard and now what we're gonna do is add a location or geolocation to this uh, model by clicking file and then geolocation and finally add location here since this SketchUp Pro is basically new so let's just click next next and we're gonna type in the address that we want to indicate that our model is located so my address for my site is this one and then i'll click search this is my site right here so i'm gonna click select region once i do that i can click import and an image was inserted here in SketchUp and this is the actual location. So let's change now to top view, clicking on camera and top. And then also we need to change the view from perspective to parallel. So we can have it similar to AutoCAD in a 2D drawing. So let me select this and move it using this command 
here on the ribbon, move, and I'm gonna place it on top of this site location. So I'll move it from this corner, click, and place it, and place it. Oops, I cannot see it here, so let's go to view, and let's change the, mm, the face style to x-ray, so we can see through. Now we are, now we can see much better so let me place it around here okay so now what we need to do is expand tax by clicking on it and basically tax are as layers in AutoCAD let's uncheck topography and location because we don't need it anymore our model is located perfectly this time. Let's kind of clean this up now. Let's go to view and let's select the monochrome option. So it looks much better. Now let's go back again to view and this time let's go to face style again and let's uncheck the X-ray. Okay. Let's go one more time and now what we're going to do is hide the axis. Okay, it's looking pretty good. The only thing now is that these buildings are looking a little weird because they have all of these weird lines on it. But we'll clean it up now, don't worry. So for this we need a new tray so it's not over here so let's add it to our default tray by going to window on your ribbon and then manage trays I'll click on it click on default tray and this is the outliner so I'll check that and close so let's now select one of these buildings as you can see is highlighted over here in the outliner and these components are basically all of our buildings so let's select this first one holding shift on your keyboard let's go all the way down and select the last component click as you can see we quickly selected all of the buildings in our model and now what we're gonna do is remove the weird lines that are showing on our buildings so right click on it and pick soften or smooth edges once you do that click on soften coplanar but take a look at here so this is our buildings looking ugly and now this is our buildings looking great so to wrap up our shadow study we're gonna go to view again and this time we're gonna select our shadows all right everything is looking pretty good we don't need the outliner so let me click on it to collapse it and this other one too now what we're gonna need is the scenes and basically scenes is like an AutoCAD view that we're gonna create in order to save uh, these specific views so I'll click this plus icon to create one view or scene in this case in SketchUp so create scene to rename it right click on it and pick rename so for this one would be a site a site plan view don't forget to press enter to accept to accept that name and let me orbit a little bit to kind of find an interesting 3D view for our site. Once we have it, let's add one more scene and in this case would be a 3D view or site 3D view. 
So now if you want to go back to the site plan view, simply double click on it. And now, okay, so our model is ready to generate the correct shadows. So let's go to shadows and click on the date to specify June 21st. Why June 21st? Because this is the summer solstice and this is where the sun is highest and sharpest in the sky. So we'll start picking a morning hour, 9 a.m. in this case. And once we have it ready, let's export it. So let's click File, Export, and to the graphics. I'll click on it. I'll name this view June 21st, 9 a.m. And before I click Export, I'll click Options to change the resolution of my view or image. So I'll uncheck here and to double the resolution, I'll type 2000 pixels. This is a personal preference. And then make sure better quality is the highest and click OK. You can now click Export. Congratulations, you just exported it, your first shadow study image. So we're going to use the same procedure to export our shadows at 12 p.m. as well as 4 p.m. So let's do it. We'll also need shadow studies for the winter, which is December 21st. And this is the winter solstice where the sun has the lowest angle in the sky. So again, 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 4 p.m. To finalize this shadow study, we'll also need how the shadows are looking on March or September 21st and this is the spring and fall equinox. So this is where the night and day are supposed to be equal in length. So again, we'll pick 9 a.m., 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. For our 3D side view, I'm gonna choose the following settings because in AutoCAD we will Time to meet the winner for this week AutoCAD consultation. I'm gonna go to my last video, which is this one over here. So let me pause this and all you had to do to participate was use the hashtag from the video. So only one person participated this time. See right, since you are the only participating this time, you are automatically the winner for this week's AutoCAD consultation. So, contact me within the next two weeks and I hope to see you soon. And remember, if you want to participate in the next giveaway for an AutoCAD consultation, simply answer this question using the following hashtag.